Cash for convictions. Nine wants to know has learned some prosecutors can get bonuses if they take cases to trial and get convictions. Investigator Deborah Sherman says she discovered that happening in the 18th Judicial District, which includes Arapahoe, Douglas, Elbert and Lincoln counties. Nine wants to know has learned District Attorney Carol Chambers is handing out thousands of dollars in bonuses to her deputy attorneys who had high trial and conviction rates last year, which defense attorneys compared to giving prosecutors a prize for putting people away and which prosecutors across the board don't agree with. What matters is that you go in there and you seek justice. Having your day in court can mean freedom. And you do the best job you can. Imprisonment. And then you leave it to 12 citizens to make a decision. Even death. In the 18th Judicial District, a trial can also mean money. In emails, District Attorney Carol Chambers told her deputy attorneys they'll get a bonus, up to $3,000, if they have more than five felony trials and a conviction rate higher than 70%. Chambers wrote, this is a trial office. If you're doing the job, you're going to go to trial. She is the only district attorney we could find who gives cash for convictions. You can't put a cost, you can't put a, an amount of money on justice. Denver District Attorney Mitch Morrissey doesn't have any money in the budget for bonuses. If he did, he wouldn't give prosecutors a financial incentive because he says they might have an interest in the outcome. Somebody would be trying cases they know they're going to win because they're going to get a bonus, as opposed to trying cases that justice requires that they go into court and fight as hard as they can to try to get justice for that victim. First Judicial District Attorney Scott Story of Jefferson and Gilpin Counties agrees. Our job is not to tie, directly tie, conviction rate, trials, uh, plea bargain, whatever, to uh, a monetary uh, figure. Uh, that would be like working on commission or something, and, and, and that's not what we do. In the past, at least two judicial districts gave bonuses and awards to felony prosecutors who tried the most cases, but the experiments only lasted a year. When you get competitive like that, and, and, and when the mission becomes trials and how many trials you can get rather than the pursuit of justice, uh, I just think that sends the wrong message to your prosecutors and to the community. In the 18th Judicial District now, emails show the prosecutors have been left arguing their cases, begging for bonuses. Several attorneys on both sides of the courtroom think it's unethical and could give reason to appeal cases. But Chambers says she's giving bonuses to recognize her hardworking team, and she plans to do it again next year if there's enough money in her budget. Deborah Sherman, 9 News. The average bonus was $1,100. The Colorado Public Defender's Office calls the bonuses ironic and questionable in this economy.